Another thing I would not do is I couldn't marry somebody who was not my friend. I just, I just can't. I know a lot of women do that. They say things like, um, um, when, you see, when you see a lady and a guy, maybe they're hanging out all the time, and they say, hey, what's up, what's happening? I say, no, nothing, no, he's just my friend. And I'm wondering, really, you want to marry your enemy? Because I think that if your friend is the best person to marry, because in marriage, more than anything, is friendship. What, what are you doing inside marriage? Because, I mean, a lot of young people especially think that there's something else we're doing inside marriage. You, you can't have sex more than one hour. You can't even have sex up to that one hour, the way I'm looking at all of you. Okay, let me be fair. Let me give you one hour, 15 minutes. Let me just give you one hour, 15 minutes. But that, I mean, you have 24 hours in a day. And let's say you take one hour, 15 minutes to have sex. Then you, maybe you take... 30, 30 minutes to, or maybe 30, 30 minutes to eat a meal. Or are you slow in eating? <laughs> so let's do 30 minutes, Abby. You have three meals. That's one hour, 30 minutes. So you've done like two, two hours, 45 minutes, Abby. Then what else are you doing in the day? You want to sleep. How many hours can you sleep? Six hours. Eight. If you are sleeping eight hours, you are lazy. <laughs> but let's dash you. Okay, so you take that out of 24 hours. What are you going to be doing for the next 24 hours? If somebody's not your friend, you'll be frustrated though. You don't know. So I couldn't marry someone that was not my friend. Even from the relationship, it showed me that that was the best choice I could make. Because there was no forming. I don't know if you've ever had somebody who is just your friend. You, just be, you guys are just friends, you are close. There's no forming, there's no airs. You don't do all those... Um, should I call him first? Should he call me first? Should I call him first? You feel like calling him. Pick up your phone, call him. I didn't miss you, guy. How are you day? And we are good. No forming. No, let's see who will call first. Let's see. Then we'll go somewhere. Then he doesn't have money. He's not forming. Um, um. <laughs> there was nothing like that. The very, very first time Pastor K took me out, even though now, thinking back, it'd be like, say, Jasmine. But <laughs> the very first time he took me out, we went to the beach, and we went with a few other friends. There was nothing, I mean, nothing. I was wearing a I wasn't wearing a reserve, nothing. So it was just nothing, literally nothing. So he took me out. Um, we went to, on our way to the beach, we stopped at Mr. Biggs. He could only afford to buy one plate of food. He could only afford to buy one, one, one plate of food. And, of course, they gave him one spoon. Because now I'm thinking back, I don't know why he was complaining that they gave him only one spoon. If you buy one plate of food... <laughs> If you buy one plate of food, <laughs> praise God. So they gave us one plate, one spoon, and then, so when we got to the I was like, will you eat? Before. <laughs> Carry me come up to my papa house this morning, I don't go eat. So, when Hina said, ah, that means we share the spoon, no? Before. Except you want to use your hand. So he would take, he said, and I'm counting, he even told me, say, I'm counting it. You take one spoon, I take one spoon. <laughs> And to be, to be honest, he was my friend, so I didn't feel pressured, I didn't feel, you know, you don't know that, that type, eh, if it's not friendship, if it's a guy that takes you out, you know you'll be hungry. Your tummy will be rumbling, you'll put music on your phone, and you'll be like, why are you putting me, you, you don't want the sound of your tummy, you'll be blocked, you just say, no, I like music on my phone all the time. Your battery is going because of hunger. You don't want to eat, you don't want to, or they'll say, eat something, you just take a spoon, say, I'm, I'm fine, and you are eyeing the chicken. How you would have cracked that bone when you get home. See, that's the pressure you don't need. Because if you're not real, it will affect you. Are you going to form all the rest of your life in marriage? That's why they say that when people get married, people say they change. What am I changing to if the very first day we went out, both of us share a spoon? And there's a way I will scoop the tea, he will shake my hand and say, mm, you're scooping it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I mean the gen these girls in this generation, men, I'm advising you, don't do what I did. I mean, don't... Follow Pastor K, if you know work for you. But I'm just saying that there were no heirs. There were days when I came to his house and I'm like, I'm hungry. And say, I food, no, there you go, drink, Gary. Sure, go what that day. I'm good. Why are we forming? Why are we forming? So it's only because I married him. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> So marry your friend, marry your friend. 
He was my friend, so I didn't need to form around him. He didn't need to form around me. He, he didn't have money. We knew. We were okay. And on the basis of friendship, I went ahead. Because if it's somebody that is forming for me, me too, I will not answer him all. They say you don't have money. If you, if you want to be a big boy, you have to be a big boy. So if you're, if you're going to start posing, it's not that when we now get married, you now say, eh, manage with me. Manage what? We can't manage because you showed me you were a big boy. But if you show me who you really are, and you show me that this is what we, I mean, this is how things are, then if I enter marriage and expect much more than that, then I'm a wicked person. So marriage really works when the person is your friend. Because right now, there's literally nothing we don't talk about. Ah, if Pastor K is here, if me and him gossip, you won't believe it. <laughs> As he, he would just be sitting here, as I'm preaching this message, I would have, he'd have coded me with his eye. That's friendship. We'll be in a room and people don't know, I mean, there's nothing, literally nothing he can tell me. And that makes you more comfortable in marriage. There's peace, because you know this person is my friend. Praise God. 